Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age playthrough. Very excited to continue where we left off, which in our last episode we got nuclear going, which is down here. Um, why is that one... Uh-oh. Ah, uh, I forgot to copy the, set the green setting over. Dang. Well, I can have bots take that out. That's cool. Okay, so um, I built some laser turrets, uh, kind of a just-in-case thing, and then I might actually build a few more, to be honest. And we went around and killed a lot of biters in the tank. Just went around the whole perimeter, so we should be safe for a little bit. I built these little... Um, that one's not a finished one. These little blueprints, which should keep the radar scanning. And that way we can just keep an eye on biter stuff a little better. What else did we do? Oh, we decided where we are going to wall off. I think I did finally come to the conclusion we need a wall. Uh, keep the biters out, especially when we're gone on another planet. It's just with the way expansion works. They're going to expand, and then they're going to expand again inside of the pollution cloud. And then at that point, that base is soaking up all kinds of pollution and actually makes relatively big armies. So you can go from not getting attacked at all to all of a sudden big armies are attacking you. Um, speaking of the devil, what's going on here? Oh, that was just a radar chunk. Okay, that scared me. I was like, we might already have one going on. So anyway, uh, we kind of decided with these little icons, I was just looking at where can we wall off such that we'll have the resources we want. Uh, walling off here gives us these two iron patches, which I think is plenty for now to get what we want to get done, done. And then we've got basically all the stone we need because there's a stone patch here and there's already two down here. So that should be plenty. Though that one will actually be outside of my walls now that I think about it. Maybe I need that to be inside. I don't know. But we've got more oil right there for when we need it. And we can always put speed modules and beacons with speed modules for the oil. We've got lots of coal. We've got these three big copper patches. So I should be good on copper. Um, there's even another coal patch up there. So I think I'll okay. I think I'll be okay. And... Yeah, so... SMO, how long am I going to stream? Yeah, this one's not going to be a 12-hour one. Uh, it'll probably be six hours or so. I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out yet. But, yeah, so the first thing we need to do for our big bot network is work on the bot network itself. So what I want to do is kind of figure out what's a good spacing... Oh, it's not going to show me, is it? It's kind of annoying, actually. You can't see ghost. There he is. So I guess we actually need to do this by hand. It'll be a lot easier. And yeah, we're going to lock it to the grid so that we can just paste it wherever and it'll line up later. Zekolo, you don't like expansion, you play it without... Yeah, expansion is something you turn on if you want to have to care about biters. Because with expansion turned on, you really can't ignore them. And that's where we're at right now. So... Alright, so there... There... And then we can just copy that, rotate it... And... Okay, so this is what four of them look like, spaced out. And then we're going to power that up with big electric poles. Which I don't think they reach. Um, unfortunately, I can't really tell. Yeah, they don't reach. Will they reach? Ooh. Ooh, they do. All right, so we want the perfect middle, though. So what's the perfect middle? Perfect 
Perfect middle is right here and here. Okay. So this is our holy grail spot. Um, wait a second. I'm not really thinking this through, though. Because then this is not going to paste properly. Oh, this is so annoying. We need the power poles to be, like, agnostic to... We can't make them rotation agnostic. That's never going to work. But then if I just copy this here, we're going to end up with two big poles that are really close together, and that's that feels pretty wasteful. Um, What do I want to do about that? Do I want to do anything about that? But I'm guessing if we put them here and here, they won't connect. But I think this is the better solution. Because then at least the ones in the middle line up. So now there's seven, but when we copy it, those will overlap. Okay, and we don't even need a radar, by the way, for those wondering, because now the roboports come with a radar range of two built in, which is so nice. So then now all we have to do is snap it to the grid and we need to shrink it so that it's to the middle of each roboport, uh, which is going to be 50 and 50. And then we shift it over two and two. And we want absolute. And now it's it's off and we can shift move it to to get it where it wants to go. Oh, nudging is amazing. Perfect. So, I think we can just go absolutely hog wild with this. Our poor little bots are going to take forever, don't get me wrong, but think we can um i might even want a bigger one than this this is kind of too small the problem is there's no i don't have any good vanilla radars are so crappy i need i need uncommon radars like they just don't give you big enough coverage to like mess with big blueprints um i got so used to playing with the uh Oh, I just realized we're going to double down on the ones in the middle. Oh, yeah, this is bad. This is bad. We don't want that. So then... These ones should just be a single one in the middle. Yeah, I forgot about this. Like that. And then this one should go up. Be in the middle. Like this. Uh, is this how I'm doing wall resupply? Not necessarily wall resupply, but just the ability to build walls. I, I mean, I guess technically, yeah. I just shouldn't. I should, I'm going to be using laser turrets, so I shouldn't need to supply much. But. But yeah, I actually don't want. Okay, so let's undo that. And now, when we copy this build, those will line up. And when we copy it this way, 
Those will line up. Shouldn't I just make it so that they're always on the north side then? Like this. And then those will always line up? Yeah, yeah, Zekola, exactly. Same idea, but on the top. Because then that's connected to those two. That one connects to this, and this connects to these two. So then we're mostly overlapping. Um, delete you. Delete you. Absolute. Shrink by four. Oh, I need to shrink by more than that. Shrink by six on the height, because it's too taller than it needs to be. Um, so then we shift it. And then... Yeah, so now we're not doubling down on a ton of power poles. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so then we'll build that there, there, there. And now I want to copy that in an even bigger blueprint. And then... Snap. Absolute. Still just shrink by six. Four. 100 by 100. Look at that perfection. And then shift. Ah, oh, you can't nudge? Oh, you can. Weird. But it's like delayed on showing it to me. There we go. Okay. There we go. Um, surely this can't go wrong. I've never had. Never had problems doing anything like this before. <laughs> oh my god, this is... This is dumb. Why am I doing this? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, we just decided our fate for the next few hours. Taking care of this nonsense. Um, on the plus side, we'll have robo coverage everywhere. On the less than plus side, it's going to take forever. Wow. Oh, man. Do I really want this? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Why is it placing things in the water? Well, because I told it to. When you shift click, it removes trees and rocks, and now it will do landfill. Um, that's a lot of miss missing entities. It sure is. The worst part is that that's not even close to all of them, because it's not even seeing most of them as things that it could build yet. I'm missing a few in here, too. Okay, so we're going to need to automate big poles to be a lot faster. Also, what's up with laser turrets? Still not done. I automated laser turrets. Is it just eating all of them? I thought construction took a higher priority than requester chests. Does it not? Am I just not making any laser turrets anymore? No, we are. We are. It's... I guess requester chests are a higher priority, so this is getting all of them. I could have sworn, though, requester chests were lower priority than... than actual construction on the base. At least big pulls don't take Neobium. Yeah, exactly. But look, I've got a rare laser defense. 18 range, and it doesn't deal any more damage. That's interesting. I was under the impression these de deal dealt more damage. So then the whole point of having 
But that range boost is huge. I mean, 18 range is so much more than 15. I know it's three more and in your head, you're like three isn't that many, but that makes a big difference. So yeah, so personal laser defense is now about having more of it rather than higher damage of it. Interesting. Okay, well, now what? Now we need, I can't even read what we need because of those yellow arrows. We're just filling the screen. We need a lot more roboports, we need a lot more construction bots, and I need a lot more big power poles. So big power poles are steel, iron, and copper. We should be able to automate those to be a bit faster. Oh yeah, and we need some landfill as well. I mean, I should just be able to do something like this. Make wire. Bad boy's gonna be doing work for a while. There goes all my steel for a long time. Have they made it so you can remove landfill? Yes. <laughs> now that Navis is busy, I can move on. No, no, this is not the time. I haven't even built my walls yet. This is just the prep to build a wall. Uh, also, Cheesinator, do the laser nerfs apply in 2.0? I don't... I don't know what... Combat changes do and don't apply to 2.0. That's something I'm really not sure about. Also, we're gonna need more sticks, apparently. How many sticks are we talking? 20 sticks a second? Holy cannolis. Um, I guess we can just do a stack. Sorry, bulk inserters. This is probably worth productivity. You saw another streamer get their Navos base destroyed while they were on Vulcanus? Yeah, that's what we're wanting to avoid here. Certainly wanting to avoid that. Okay, so now robo ports are the problem. Good, that's the problem we want to have. Robo ports are automated over here somewhere. Right here. And that's a gear maker problem. And I'll put prod in that. And this is making one every four seconds. Hmm. You're tempted to turn off expansion so you could get to the new stuff faster. Yeah, the problem is your pollution cloud might keep growing. So, that's a thing. Oop, speaking of expansion, that one wasn't there before. Now we gotta go take care of that. Uh, I wanna know how many we're talking. Uh, 1.2k big poles, and it's not showing robo ports, or I can't find them. Why is it not showing robo ports in this? Am I crazy? Do you guys see robo ports in there?
Huh. It's even in the icon for the blueprint. Wow. Weird. But it didn't copy them. Somehow. Like, if I go to copy this, it shows up. 8, 33, 57, 48. But it, like, didn't show up in the... That one has 213. Okay. So we're looking at, like, 600, probably. 6 to 800 Roboports. Jeez. That's a lot. Four hundred and sixty-two. Uh, that's a lot. Well, the good news is they'll get it done eventually. Bad news is they're not going to get it done for a while. Now, I want to go look at my laser turrets and why those are so slow. Laser... turret. Oh, well, that's a good reason. Those are just slow because they're slow. <laughs> you came back from being AFK and there is a massive number of things not being complete. Yes, that is that is where we're going to be at for a while. We're trying to build a bot network to then construct our walls to keep baddies out. And it's going to take a while. So you just need to be faster. That should help quite a lot. I could even do this. And this. Oh, super force build. Beautiful. All right, so there's faster laser turrets. And we'll let that build up to a lot, because we're going to need a lot of laser turrets. Um, we're also going to want a lot of substations and a lot of walls, and then we need landfill. So walls and landfill, let's get those automated somewhere, maybe up here, a nice little gap. Walls and landfill both need only stone. Did any stone get on this iron belt? I don't think it did. So landfill's pretty chill. That's literally all we gotta do. I will eat all my stone for a while. It stacks to 100. And it's 50 a piece. So that's 5,000 stone per stack. Oh, jeez. We'll just do a couple stacks for that. It does kind of look like a brownie. Uh, I cannot disagree with that. And then we'll do this. It has begun. 
the weakness, the lack. Oh my. Oh my. How's power, by the way, with all of the bots doing their thing? We should be okay on power for a while, that's the good news. Is it worth rolling for higher quality walls for the spaceship? Um, maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. But it, it could be. Why does it want that much landfill? Oh gosh, we need a deconstruction planer that's avoiding fish. What? Oh no, that is a deconstruction planer that only deconstructs fish. There we go, blacklist. That makes more sense. But why is it not stopping the landfill? Orders. Tiles. What if I want tiles and Always. There we go. Okay. Yeah, y'all don't need to do all this. I'm okay with a little bit of it, but... The worst part is you can't decon plan what you've already planned that's in the water, even if you couldn't see it before, but you could plan it in places you couldn't see. But you can't unplan it in places you can't see. I've always felt like that's weird. J7J, remember last stream when I gave you advice about starting a YouTube channel? You looked into it and you believe you've got almost everything. Awesome! You only need Factorio Space Age. Yeah, basically that'll be in just a few days and you'll be good to go. Oh, aren't you guys so excited for Space Age? I'm still excited for Space Age, and I'm playing it, and it feels like I'm still excited for it, because we have so much we haven't gotten to. There's so much to look forward to. Uh, get rid of a few things here. It releases on Monday the 21st, yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, so this is just gonna take a while. So I need to figure out what else we need to do before then. So let's start looking at space platform thrusters. Exciting stuff. So we need more ice, but then that uses carbon and iron, which you already know about. Thruster fuel, thruster oxidizer. Okay. And the consumes fuel and oxidizer. We'll get that researched. Should I do another worker robot speed? It could be worth it with how much they're flying around. I will enqueue, enqueue the research. And I should probably do that. Personal battery mark too. Do construction planners have a don't landfill this option? Probably. Probably. I think if you shift click, that's when it automatically landfills underneath. I don't know if there's a way to shift click and not landfill underneath at the same time. I'm actually impressed at how much the bots have already got done, to be honest. This is going faster than I thought it would go. But there's still a lot left to do. Um, also, that fuel looks awfully similar to the space exploration fuel. Well, I wonder if that's because the developer of space exploration was working on Space Age 2. I'm sure, I'm sure that had something to do with it. All right, we should design our wall blueprint, probably. And I also need more steel chests. So 
So the walls are gonna be. I'm gonna go find our walls here. Okay, it looks like they're finally done stealing the uh, landfill, so that'll just fill up now. Yeah, I'm not even getting any stone for the landfill. Those eight laser turrets, man. So that, are we still... Have we still not finished rolling the personal laser defenses? Guess not. I said 150, maybe I should just say 50. I'm probably gonna need to stop doing that for a minute. Because these cost, like, what, five laser turrets each? So yeah, I've, I've burned a lot of laser turrets already on that. Maybe I should stop. I got three uncommons and a single rare. And then plenty. Maybe I should put some of these in the tank. It's just such a small amount of damage. I think what you really need is like a higher quality power armor mark two situation. Otherwise it's just not doing much. Now that's hopefully good to go. And I also need big electric poles in my inventory. And some walls. Sweet. Things are looking good. We're up to 151 robo-ports in the base. And it, more or less, our base is keeping up. I think the steel production's a little low. It, it seems that iron's a little low, but it's not too bad, actually. Things are, things are working. This is gonna take a little while. How do we still have eight missing? What is going on here? Do I have disconnected networks or something? Like why are... Is it, is it my own inventory? No, I already have 50. Something weird is going on with those laser turrets. I don't know what it is. These got built just fine. Why are these not getting built? Is something else requesting laser turrets? Really, that should be figuring itself out by now. Something is grabbing all the turrets. Maybe it's still this. Yeah, never mind, it's still that. I, I, I could have sworn that the priority to build buildings was higher than the priority to request requester chests, but clearly I'm wrong about that. Because this is... This is eating all of the laser turrets. Happily. Oh, because I don't have 50 of any one thing. Okay, we really need to stop this. Stop the madness! Requester chest is closer than building. Uh, I don't think I don't think the distance is the decider there. If it's two different kinds of bots, I assume one of them gets priority always, and it has nothing to do with how far away it is. It's when it's the same kind of bot that I think you can get into the distance mattering. I could be wrong about that too, but I think that's what's going on. Um, so now that number's going down. There we go. Finally. And 18 more landfills still. Ugh.
Maybe I should just set up a whole new landfill um, automation. Ooh, that looks fun. I forgot that button existed. Neat. We can see the grid coming together. Um. Anyway, there's stone in all this mess. We're already mining all of it. Is that really it? I guess I need to go put speed modules in all the miners to get stuff faster. I'm used to Satisfactory where, you know, you get like your Mark III miner and it just doubles your speed. Here, there's no, there's no doubling. Eventually you get big miners, but that's a whole different thing. For now, all we can do is speed modules. So we'll run down there, boost things up a bit. Oh dear, we are all full on our chest here. Dull green rocks. We do have, what is that, 16? So we're getting about halfway to Kovarex. You're also used to Satisfactory where you stay on one planet. I know, crazy, right? Wait a second. What's going on here? Do I have yellow belt limited on stone? Crap, I think I think that's what's going on. Yep. I thought we were red belting stone, but it's coal that we red belted. Well, that should double our landfill production rate. That will help. Wow. I was just thinking, I bet we don't have enough construction bots, but apparently we do by a very small margin. So let me go add a couple hundred more construction bots into the network as well. And for those of you who are wondering why are we doing this, it's because we need to build a wall to keep the biters out and to keep the base safe while we're working on other planets. Uh, because enemy expansion is on, they're gonna end up expanding into the pollution cloud and then at that point they're gonna start sending regular attacks. Now one option I could do would be to have remote tanks, you know, and I could just drive tanks around and take care, but that's so much manual work. I think walls, walls are a far more automated way of handling biter attacks than going and hunting them constantly. Eventually we'll have spider trons and we can just, you know, click, 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 and they'll all die. But that's gonna be a long, long time away from now. For now we're just gonna make walls. All right, we got some more bots in the network. That's 500, that should be enough. Yes, you can remote control tanks now. It's wonderful. It is beautiful. So where is our tank? Oh, did I mine it? I can't remember. No, it's, it's chilling down here. So we can go over here, click this, drive remotely, and off we go. I actually forgot about that again. I, I keep driving it manually because I just forget you can drive it remotely. The benefit I guess I've needed to drive it because I'm using my personal grid to build stuff and repair the tank and whatnot. So you do need to be in it to get the benefit of your own grid. But that's about the only benefit, I guess. All right, our science will back up soon. Are there any other researches we need to think about before? This one's tempting. Really tempting, it's all. I know I say it's only 2,000 packs, that is a lot, but it's also not that much. Mm. I should probably do laser damage six. That's a pretty huge boost, 70% more on top of the base damage. And then shooting speed is less important. I'll, I'll wait on that. 
go ahead and let's just go ahead and get it all done. Kind of all the basic vanilla stuff. It'll cost a lot, but we'll get it done. Orbital drop shock tanks. <laughs> Gotta have the ODST. I mean, if you have tanks on the orbital platform, I guess you would need though. You can't drop the tank like with stuff in it. It would just drop it as an item. Wow, you you literally get a little window into every single building that you're not currently capable of constructing. Wow. What's cool though is we've caught up on the big power poles and everything. So now it's just a matter of probably steel. Not enough steel. I'm guessing. Or is it red red circuits? What's the slowdown on these things? It is steel, yeah. So why don't we then grab some... Please tell me I have them. I don't. Grab some electric furnaces and turn all of that space iron into steel and then use that. Come up here and we'll smelt this iron. Alright. Copy those, but we change it to iron. Basic like this and this. Copy that. Power. Lights. Camera. Action. All right. So there's some free steel. Come down this way. Space steel. Heard of regular steel, but now we have space steel. And then I think we can kind of just do this. I guess we want it to be on the bottom. We'll prioritize space steel. If we can. Oh, is that not even... Oh. We need to be earlier in the bus. Yeah, that's too far. Um, okay, by this point, we're good to go. There's space steel. Now, the actual rate we're getting, I have no idea. We're still ditching a lot of iron, too. Do I have more? Oh my god. I didn't realize we may need to void space science packs. Um, you guys should only work if space science packs are less than, uh, I don't know, a thousand? Um. Wow. We have a lot of space science, y'all. Cheap stuff. Okay, so space science, we have too much. But that actually means we'll get all of the iron. 
which means I need more furnaces. Which I do have enough stuff here. We should be able to get that set up. So then... The only thing in the way is this stuff. makes it a little more likely we can smelt all of it. No? Still not? Okay, what if I do something like this, and that way we have a little bit of a buffer. <laughs> before it uh, gets no 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 wait no that's not right we need to put the the dumping we basically need the buffer all the way back here This is the belt that eh, we just don't have enough room for all of the things we want to do. And that isn't going to work. Slightly better. Which planet am I going to first? Um, I don't know yet. Probably Fulgora. What does Space Science recycle to? I don't know if you can recycle science packs. If you can, it would recycle to these objects. Um, and store the Space Science in boxes. You cannot. You cannot place crates, or whatever these are called, chests, um, on space stations. And now I have a lack of storage fix that. Whoa! Oh dear. Here comes all the science. Now are these enough to handle four smelters here? 0.62. Yes, they are. More than enough, actually. Technically, I only need four of these, so we're good on that count. It'll just take a while to catch up because it's been building up for a while, but it seems I am lacking iron plates on the bus. Yeah, it's not surprising right now. I'm I'm using um, expensive research, so I'm using all the research packs, plus I'm building an absurd amount of laser turrets and an absurd amount of robo ports, so all my steel's getting used. Basically spending everything. Um, what I'm trying to think about right now is if there's an easy way to get more more iron going. Um, I might hook up this train track over here. And get another plate of iron? Or another belt of iron plates? Potentially. This is the iron we're getting right now, and it's still not enough. Iron ore from space. We're already doing iron plates from space. I could make another space platform. Of course, that would take a lot of steel. It'd take a while to pay for itself. Um, put some speed modules in these. It won't really do anything, because this is already going far faster than the space platform would ever make iron. So once it catches up, there's no point. I'll, I'll just let it catch up.
Yeah, yeah, there are cargo extender pad things to catch more stuff. Alright, but overall things are looking pretty good on the base. Um, how's the bot expansion going? It's actually pretty good. We're still missing a lot, but like we've kind of we've made it to this wall almost. Not bad. Now, what are we at numbers wise? We're at 190. Okay. Okay. Um, what's the best way to help it speed up? Is it steel? It's probably steel. Maybe more iron. What's this? I guess we're spending some red belts right now. That's taking iron. Um, this is just not a full belt of iron in the first place. Not even close. We should probably do it like this. Left. Left. Um, or no. Oops. Because the one on the left is steel, so I want that one to always be going. But then this is actually the main iron smelting line. That was the second one we built. So the second one should be the one with less iron. It probably won't make a difference anywhere, but... It'll make me happier. I guess. So do we do more iron right now? Is the question. Sure. Let's work on more iron. So the train station. Do I want to make this a bigger train? Probably. All right, fine. We'll do a four to four balancer. Let's see if I can remember how to make these. Um, is it like this? Or is it, no, no, this might be it. Do we need another two at the end? I can never remember. Those are now the same. These are now the same. Mix, mix. But I think to be input uh, unlimited, we need them at the end. So, I'll just super force build that. Uh oh. Full inventory is not helpful. Oh, and then they get stuck? What's going on here? What the heck? Thought I super force built. I guess super force build doesn't super force build over um, uh, ghosts. Potentially. Go straight for a second here. Uh, gotta get that built. Oh. Other bots are coming to do that. So then... Grab some more chests here.
Super force build, because that's amazing. I do this. How did that run out of fuel just now? Oh, because it unloaded all... Oh, I get what just happened. I am now understanding. All right, you can have 50 gold. <laughs> I, now I'm comprehending what just happened. That's funny. All the coal immediately left the train. Okay, because that was being loaded into the front one. So now I'm going to change it into a 1-4 train, basically. Which means... I'll wait till it comes back. And then chain to enter, regular to leave. Okay. Now manual. Destroy that. Two more wagons. And then we'll drive you over here manually. Go fix things up. I should probably request rocket fuel for my trains. That will make them quite a bit faster. And that will be nice as well. Okay. Now, here's the problem. This freaking cliff. Number one is getting back connected. Again, needs a chain and then a regular. Yeah, the new rail system is cool. I, there are some questions about whether it looks nice to have the, the weird angle rails. Did I say you could do that? I don't remember turning that train back onto automatic. Did I, did I turn that train back onto automatic? I sure don't remember doing that. Um, that was kind of weird. Maybe I did and just forgot. All right, and now this is kind of weird. Um, we'll do something like this, and this, and then this. Okay. Vehicle is inaccessible. What the heck? Never seen that message before. Uh, home iron unload. So now we're going to need... Another train, which will be over here. We'll take the tracks, maybe split them off here, and then come up to this iron patch. I think this is dodging. Yeah, this is dodging my my buildings. just looks so weird I can't get over it have I seen the real book Doc Jade is making uh not really I haven't been able to watch his stuff yet I assume it's great though all right and then so that's its own trail so really it can be a chain here and here and a regular And then this doesn't need to be a chain. This really doesn't, this is just all one block, so that doesn't need any, doesn't need anything. 
Oh yeah, it is new, you're right. Planning in the map view. I didn't even notice that. We're probably gonna run out of rails trying to do this. I doubt we have enough. Uh, and then we need a rail stop. I also would like to have wagons and locos. I need more inventory space. I think they screwed up by not giving the player more inventory space. Um, I know that you get a little bit more with quality for your armor, but not very much. And with quality really jams up your inventory space now. So I think that's a little bit of a mistake, to be honest. Inventory space was already I feel like slightly cluttered, and now it's even worse. And you, I don't feel like you get enough upgrades to compensate. Trains logistic group. Yeah, I don't, I'm not building enough rails to need that yet, but that would be a thing. All right, what am I doing? Copy this. I don't need to, don't need to reinvent the wheel here. Um. Though, the reason I'm not copying it is because some of them were iron chests, so I do want to copy the chest part differently. All right, so that's done. And then get some lights going on here. This is going to be a problem. Forgot to connect this up. Alright, that's unnecessary. These are unnecessary. stupid pieces of coal. I need to build these and then deconstruct them. Is this the version of normal factorial will update through? Uh, no, this is Space Age. So for those who haven't bought Space Age, their game will update to 2.0, which is different than what I'm playing now. However, that being said, 2.0 will break every single mod just by nature of being a different version number and the only mods that will work are ones that the dev the mod devs have already kind of configured Pyanodons is supposed to work with 2.0 pretty early but i would make sure you set your factorio to not update um oh my gosh we're already an hour and four minutes into this episode also i was really hoping that would be enough to get the coal off of these inserters. Here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna deconstruct the inserters because that's just annoying me. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to be done with the episode soon and I feel like we just started. We haven't even gotten anything done. This game is crazy how much there is to do. To be fair, I started a massive project. It's gonna take a lot of episodes to finish. It's gonna take a lot of episodes to finish. <laughs> I doubt this will even be done by the end of the next episode. 
But like we said, we're taking it slow in this run. My goal is not to rush off to space and and get lost in space or stranded in space. I'm just I'm excited to to play Space Age, but I still want to kind of do it right. And I and I'm going to want a large base eventually, and this is a good foundation for that. Because once we have these walls set up and a better rail, we'll set up a, a smarter rail network eventually. Um, then we can get, you know, point to point. We can actually put items on rails. Eventually we'll do away with this old bus version of a base. You know, I can put like, I can make like a circuit area where we, we bring in iron and copper ore and make circuits there, stuff like that. So eventually we'll be doing stuff like that. Also, I just realized this area could all be mine really easily now that the radars have scanned over here. So I'm thinking we shift gears here to that and to this. And then we have a whole massive area that's mine. That's that's a big difference. Because that gives me this iron patch, this coal patch, that uranium. That's the first uranium patch, too, other than our starter. And two more big oil patches, plus a lot of stone. And even a, a few more weird iron patches. Yeah, and a tiny coal patch. Um, that's definitely a good change. Oh, three more oil patches in here. Heck, I could just make my new base over here. I've got everything we need. Um, and that iron patch is like the size of... It's so big. Look, I, I wish we could zoom in on it and see it, because that's so much iron. <laughs> that's so much iron. All right, so what that means, though, is we're going to need a few more of our RoboPort blueprints to, like, come out to here. And then a few more to come out to there. Okay. How are the interrupts on trains? I haven't tried yet, uh, Brony. I'm not totally sure. Because we haven't done, like, a proper train system yet. We're just doing point to point. And so there's no need for interrupts or anything like that. Um... I definitely will. I just haven't had a need for it at this point. All right, so let's grab our mining blueprint here. Mm, yeah, we'll go on the, the right corner here. And then... Man, I really wish... Oh, I'm just really missing the long chest mod. Do I really need a 4x4 four, a four four balancer for this? Because part of me was like, oh, what if I just set the train to unload in such a way that... Like, let's... Like, let's say it left after it was... Hard to explain what I'm trying to say. It's like I I want it to leave when the chests. I guess I could measure how much iron is in all these chests. Well, basically, I want to know is any specific set of chests mostly empty, like less than a hundred iron total left. In that case, I kind of just want the train to leave because at that point it's only loading a little bit at a time. Just put a damn balancer. Okay, fine, fine. You're right. I, I am overthinking it. I just hate balancers so much. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't like it. It makes me feel icky. It makes me feel icky. But you're right, this is, this is better.
what happened while you were gone. Uh, well, I assume we have more Roboports than last time you were here. That much I'm confident in. So how are we not hooked up to power with all of this? Something's screwed up if we don't have power up here. That has power. Wait, what is going on? Oh! This is connected to this, but I thought that was connected to this pole too, but it just looks like it is and it's not. Okay, there we go. Um, that, that was funny, because it, it crossed, this wire crossed right over the top of the power pole to make me think it was connected. It twicked me. Alright. Belts, belts. The nice thing is my construction bots are coming over here and doing work, and logistics bots, so I haven't had to do anything extra. Um, I do need to request steel chest, too. Okay, so there we go. So this is uh, iron, north iron load two. We can't name them the same thing because of the way I'm setting up these trains. They do need to have different names. And then get our four wagons. And you're gonna want load two, full cargo, unload, empty cargo. We'll say empty cargo or uh, time passed 60 seconds. That way we don't have any weird, it's sort of full, but I don't know. That should mostly fix it. And then we'll get some rocket fuel. Why do I still have solid fuel? Did I not undo that request? I think we did. Long live irregular throughput. Yeah, I do love irregular throughput. I, I'd rather account for irregular throughput than use a balancer. The problem is, in this particular case, I think it's just easier to use a balancer. Um, so, do I have my signals correct? That's the next question to ask. So we've got chain, chain, And that's a, a regular. And then we need a regular in front of this. And then maybe like... I mean, I really only need enough for one train like So that's all fine. I guess if I have a third train, we could support that now. And so that's a chain, so it'll only enter this if it can get out into the... Okay. So this will be a one way, so it'll stop here, the other one will come in, then this one will go. It'll be kind of slow, but it's fine. Um, so I think we're good on those once those are built. Why not use logistics groups for requests? Because uh, I haven't figured out how I want to group it yet. These are all general things that I want all the time. I can at least name it Nowvis requests. because um, I'm sure it'll be different when we're on a different planet, but... Alright, let's, uh, automatic this bad boy. Wait, what are you doing? No, go, go to home on iron unload first. Alright. So there we go. Unload the stuff. We're gonna change this to be a requester for rocket fuel. No! Don't leave without me. Get left without me. Alright, take all that out. Hop in this guy. So we're now balancing the outputs properly, but yeah, the issue is that I don't think those things are full. They're not all balanced yet because I added the two sets of chests. So we are going to have a little bit of an issue, I think. I 
think 30 seconds would even be enough. Probably. For a timeout on those things. You know, uh, an iron patch this big feels really big until you actually start mining it and you see how dang slow you actually get. You can't even get four red belts of iron out of it, which doesn't sound like that much. Um, weight condition for fuel full, that's probably a good idea. It won't matter after this next trip, so let me on. I want to be on this thing. So now the issue is going to be uneven unloading. And these are not full, but these are, or something like that. Yeah, see, that one's the last one to unload. So it will actually help it a little bit if I take some of this iron and trash it. I think. Help it be a little more balanced. <laughs> Uh, making iron in the space platform. So we already are, actually. We're, we're using the space platform to make whatever iron it can. Though we're still dumping quite a bit of iron off overboard. But we have four furnaces running full-time, at least. So there's a whole three iron per second, all for free. But yeah, I don't think you can get that much more. I mean, even if we were doubling that, that's still only six iron per second. And I don't think we could get more than double this. So, and you would need a lot of space, because then you're talking about like, even to just get a full red belt of iron, you need like five space platforms. So it really, it seems very inefficient to, to try to do things that way. Um, now, do I need more steel or iron is the question. And I think the answer might be steel. Also, why are red circuits so sad? I guess we could put productivity in here now that I have more power. Let's just do all prod. Um... I guess I should do blue belts at some point, too. I keep trying to do the module inserter thing where you just copy-paste and it works. But that doesn't work here. Um, Alright, so that's 15, but these only need 12. I forget what these numbers work out to. I don't remember if this works right or not. Let's find out. Oh no, we're out of modules now? Ah, oh, we're out of modules now? Goodness. Um, apparently we're not yeah, saving up any of these. Um, that's fine, I guess. So... I mostly want this one to be speedy more than quality. The 
signals can't break if you don't use signals. My factory relies on prayer and hope. <laughs> um... Yeah, train deadlocks can only can only happen if you don't plan for it, really. So, you can avoid deadlocks entirely if you know what you're doing. I guess it's the knowing what you're doing part that is a little tricky sometimes. So, 12, so this will actually work properly. And that gets us a good amount of extra green chips here. Do that. And I think this as well. Okay. Oh, we finished our research. Nice. So once research the, the, the research backs up, that will save us a lot of resources too. And then at that point, I think we'll have plenty of iron. So I think I will copy my steel build. A monumental steel build. And we'll put this. Meh, I don't know up here. Sure. Embrace the spaghetti. Um, so then that will come up to here. And then, uh, would you look at this? We got coal going up here. Bring this over. there and then that comes around perfect uh the reason i'm not using electric furnaces is i haven't figured out how i want to beacon and module them yet and at least in this particular case i don't actually have enough furnaces and i don't really want to design the uh furnace blueprint at this moment. So I'm just using my steel blueprint that already works. And we're calling it a day. Now the problem is coal is on this thing. Hold on. Uh, coal is on this end, so we need something like that. Okay. Could start making them to try getting some quality ones. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's a lot of projects we could be working on, but uh, working on electric furnaces right now is not at the top of my list. So there's a few yellow belts here that just seem unnecessary to me. Everything else is looking good. those done all right beautiful all right well we'll have to call that the end of the episode we're an hour and 23 minutes in for a youtube recording this could have been two episodes but for those of you future youtubians who are watching on gosh are we in november yet by by now with how many episodes we've done <laughs> as usual uh let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and i'll see you in the next episode